I'm doing a how I edit Instagram pictures and like what apps I use and stuff. So I guess I'll just get into it. This is my phone. I've already done a what's on my phone video. You can go check it out. It was from a while ago, but I thought that I would just do a how I edit Instagram pictures because I get asked this question a lot on my Instagram. Um, People comment it a lot, so I decided to do it. So my Instagram is Sierra Furtado if you want to check it out. And this is kind of what my Instagram looks like. So this is the folder that I use. It's called Photo. I just like having my stuff in folders. I just can't stand it being all messy. So everything that I use for Instagram editing and stuff is in this folder. So the first app I have here and probably my most used is called Square Ready. And by the way, I know there's probably a ton of these videos out there and you might already know all these apps, but this is just what I use. So Square Ready is what I use to get the white borders and just like white around my photos. So you just basically choose a photo and it gives you the white borders so that it doesn't have to be black and it just like is the right size for Instagram. And you can also make it how big you want, put it on the side, just whatever you want, whatever size you want, just that's what that does. So that's pretty straightforward. I use that like on every picture pretty much. So Square Ready is probably like the last app I use before I upload it to Instagram, but the first one usually that I use is called Afterlight. Afterlight is basically a photo editor, so you can do anything from clarity to like the brightness, adjust the brightness and stuff. Basically has like all those classic photo editor stuff, but then it has like some really cool filters and this is pretty much the filters that I use for all my pictures. Um, they just have some really good ones. They're pretty basic, but they look pretty good. So that's usually what I'll do. And then also in Afterlight, you can get the like dust, like I don't know, like the textures, I guess. It looks like it's an old photo, kind of. Um, also, it has a lot of the light effects. So right here, you can get like light streams and stuff, which is also good. They have a ton of those, and that's what I use to get light, pretty much. And then also, you can get these cool um, like frames and stuff. This is where people get like the hearts and triangles and stuff. They have. They also have like borders that you can do like that. They have circles, all these different shapes, and I use that quite a bit. They have um, like the X that everyone uses, and you can also like make it transparent, like, like that, like less white, I guess, and that's the heart and stuff. And then um, you can also do a letter, which I don't really use, but you can have like an A or something. And then this is where they also have Polaroid kind of frame looking things. So um, if you want to turn that on, it'll be like Instagram size. So you can just do things like that and it'll give you cool like Polaroid frame and stuff. But so yeah, and then you just click done and save to camera roll and stuff. So that's pretty much my favorite app and my most use is Afterlight. So picolage is something you do like something like this. Um, you can add a picture from your photos. You can take pictures. You can get pictures from the web. Um, so I'll just go quickly and show you. Um, so you can put that, and then this is how you also, how do you do it? I really like, rarely do this, so, um, you can do like that, um, how do I do this? Oh, you can, like, cut it, wait, that's not how you do it, clip photo, and that's how people get, like, <laughs> that stuff, I'm really suckish at it, but, yeah, I just search up, like, Tumblr pictures, pretty much. But yeah, that's pretty much how I do that. Um, I'm not really like fast at like doing a picture, so I'm not gonna show you, but there's like things like that you can do. So that's how they do like collages and stuff. The next one is Lumi, and I don't really use this anymore, but it's a good one for um, light effects. Pick a photo, choose it. That one already has light effects on it, but um, it, you can get like hearts and stuff and like there's different ways you can do that. It's just a bunch of light effects. I don't really use it anymore, honestly. Pick FX is another good one for filters and light effects. Again, I don't really use this anymore. 
I'm really obsessed with Afterlight, pretty much that's like all I use, but this is an old one too. Um, it's really good for filters and lights, so wow, my phone's so slow. Okay, don't crop. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> so, hurry up. I'm getting a new phone soon, don't worry guys. Okay, so there's like all these different filters that you can do. They have some really cool ones, and they're really like, they're more intense than like Afterlight would have. It's more like noticeable, noticeable that you would put like a filter it just looks like you filtered the crap out of it, <laughs> whereas Afterlight, it's more like um, subtle and like natural looking kind of. And then also they have all these different like vintagey filters. They have textures. They have light again. They have really good light stuff here. So they have like the little bokeh pixels. They have lots of those. Um, they have just streams like that. Pretty much explanatory. Um, the next one is Pick Frame, and this is what I use to do frames and, um, yeah, pretty much frames. <laughs> so if I'm doing like an outfit of the day or something. But yeah, it's pretty self explanatory. But I like this one because it has these frames in the back here, which are kind of different. And it's kind of what I use to do pictures like. Okay, so that's pretty much what I do to do pictures like this. I used pick frame. For this, I used pick frame. Um, and this one. So as you can see, go back to pick frame. Those are all these ones. So I use that one and that one. They're just really cool. So yeah, I really suggest pick frame for any kind of frames stuff. Um, then I have mirror gram. And... A lot of people use just like frames and then they flip the picture to do like a mirrored effect but I find like a mirror thing like this is a lot easier. That's my camera, hey. So if you wanted like a mirror picture like that, you just take it. And then you don't have to do like the whole shabam with like frames and flipping the photo, it's kind of annoying. So that's what I do for that. You can also um, import like a picture and then make it a mirror you don't have to actually like take the picture so you can import like a picture from your camera roll from here and then it'll make it like a mirror picture but yeah you can use it like this or there's like ones like this but that's kind of weird I think so yeah you just kind of do it like that from your camera roll the next one's diptych and this is another kind of frame app and I really don't use this at all. I don't think I've ever used it but if you ever wanted more frames they just have different ones. They have like fancy ones that are like different um, like shapes and stuff. Come on. So they have like peace signs and like weird hearts and stuff like that. And then I have over which is what I use to put text on my pictures if I want to like a quote or something and then just like type whatever move it around you can change the font I don't know pretty self-explanatory and yeah the next app I have is called layover and I don't really think a lot of people know about this one but let's just see this is so that you can layer a picture on top of another picture and you can like make it transparent and stuff. So this is a good one. I used I I used it to make this picture right here and I'll show you how I did that. So I take this one and just kind of put it there and then I go into my camera roll again and I just take another picture that I want to layer it with. No no no. It's really good for layering quotes, so I took this quote and just put it like that, I guess. And then you go to blend and you can put it on top of the picture. So it looks like that kind of thing. So I think that's really cool. You can also make it eh, like that. And then you can put like that photo again and like make it transparent. This background ends up being white when you end up with it. So then that turned into this. I also put a Polaroid picture around it. So that's how I made that. Pretty much all the apps that I use to edit my Instagram photos 
pretty basic, like, I feel like everyone uses these apps, but I hope you guys found it helpful. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Um, like I said, it's Sierra Furtado, so follow me if you want to, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Peace. Okay, bye. <laughs>